What's up? What's up? What's up? What am I? What am I? Math Malippin. One person? <laughs> guys, two seconds ago, you're like, be the Math Malippin, And I'm like, what's up? What's up? And then you're like, I'm like, what am I? <laughs> One person. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> so give a hand to the three rookies of Yay Math. Let's clap for them. Welcome. We're making good for you, and you, and you. And thank you, veterans. All right, let's rock and roll this. So, a uh, question for you. Yay what? Yay yeah. yeah. Nice, nice. On you. Okay, so we're going to talk about absolute value inequalities. I think this is moderate to challenging. Um, and we're going to uh, tackle that today. All right. So first, we have this idea of a compound inequality. What does compound mean? What do you think? Best guess. Your own words. Two things together. Two things together. Right. Okay. So two things together. Let's say we were to do this first problem: three x plus one less than seven, or seven minus. Oh, excuse me. Seven is less than. 2x minus 9. All right, dude. I'm feeling, I'm feeling this less than you guys. I'm feeling it. This is good. This is good. The energia is good. Okay. So treat this like two different statements and solve, right? I'll race you. But don't be careless. Minus 1. 3x less than 6. x less than 2. Or um, plus 9. Plus 9. 16 less than 2 Who's done? Nice. Okay, I lost. I want to lose. Divide by 2, so then that's um, 8 is less than x. So preferably what I want to do, uh, get us in the habit of doing, at least while we're learning, is to bring the variable to the left. So this would be x what? Greater than 8. X greater than 8, yes sir. And mans. Okay. And if we were to graph this on a number line, we would do it like so. Number line coming. Generally speaking, for purposes of number line, just graph the points of interest. So we have 0, we have 2, we have 8. On the 2, open or closed? Open. Oh. Open. Oh. Class, left or right? Um. Anyone else? Left. Good job, you're doing great. Left, yeah. <laughs> Am I going too fast? No. no. no okay. And then open to the right. right. Okay. So these are the answers. This or this um, that work for these, this system here, this compound inequality. Right? And this is the graph that represents it. Now, what I want to talk to you about is this word or. Okay? Let me ask you a question, please. Cornelius, hello. <laughs> that is your name. <laughs> okay, so Cornelius, suppose you went out on Saturday and not Sunday. And I asked you, did you go out on Saturday or Sunday? What would your answer be? Saturday. But would your answer be yes or no? Okay. Probably neither. Um. You went out on Saturday, and I asked you, did you go out on Saturday or Sunday? Would your answer be yes or no? Yes. Yes. Very good. Your answer would be yes. No, that confuses people. Oh, Let's I talk get it. about it. Are you Let's like, yes to which one? Uh, yes, the answer is correct. Let me, uh, you're one step ahead of me. Yes, I went out on Saturday or Sunday. Because the word or, because the word or implies how many of these need to be true? One. 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 Or both. Both is okay too. Oh. Both is okay. Can any number be true for both of these? Mm -hmm. Can a number be less than two? Yeah. yeah. And also greater than eight at the same time? Yeah. No. 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 But it Think about it, like a number like no. zero. Zero makes this one happy, but does not make this one happy. But zero is acceptable. Zero is acceptable because zero makes this happy. So what's the answer? The answer is this or this. That's the answer. <laughs> oh. Okay? At the beginning though, if this said and, if this said and, imagine, pretend it said and. This is a good use of time because we're going to get into some hard problems. If this said and, suppose you went out on Saturday only, mm -hmm. and I asked you, Cornelius, did you go out on Saturday and Sunday? Your answer would be? No. No, I did not go out on Saturday and Sunday. So if this said and here, 
What would the solution be? The x less than 2. No, no solution. solution. Oh. No solution. No so you mean don't even take one of them? Because there is no number that fits for this and this. It can't be less than two. Oh. Okay. Or is okay here and is not okay. All right. So if you have or, now I'm going to start to go like this. See, the graph goes like this, right? Neat, 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 right? <laughs> so I'm like an Egyptian here. If you have an or going like this, this is okay. But if you have an and going like this, what's the answer? No, no. solution. No solution. Very good. So I'm going to speed up the recording on the tape. <laughs> because it's funny. I've gotten positive feedback for that, actually, honestly. For what? Speeding up the recording. Of when you erase it. No. Yeah, like. <laughs> Uh, no, no. Edit that part that you why, just did. Why do it? You know, no, like, like edit out the part that he's writing stuff. No, writing is cool, but oh, well, now we're gonna start this. Yeah. Yeah. It always goes oh. Okay. Next problem on your paper. What we talked about with the did you go out Saturday or Sunday or Saturday and Sunday is gonna apply. Um, now I am going to grab this other thing here. Okay. I'm circling this stuff inside, the x plus 2, okay? x plus 2 can result in what types of numbers? What examples of numbers, perhaps? What do you think? Yes? Positive and negative numbers, right? Okay, sure, let's start with positive, right? Um, so can x plus 2 result in the number 2, for example? If yes. the stuff inside here became the absolute value of 2, would the absolute value of 2 be greater than 3? No. no. So instead of two, perhaps what's another example of what this green circle can result in? Yes? Four. Four. What else? Five, five six, six, seven, three. Nine, so three. large three. things. Anything what? Above three. Anything three. above three. You're right. Anything above three. So I'm going to write x <coughs> plus two can result in numbers greater than three. Because if x plus 2, this notice, x plus 2 is exactly the stuff we circled, resulted in numbers greater than 3, we'd be happy. Okay? Now, uh, Ecclesiastes in the back, <laughs> you <laughs> said. Really yeah. Are these mathematicians? Yeah. Um, All of you are, math uh, are math magicians. Someone only comes along. Womp! That's how I do magic at home. Anyway, what? <laughs> now, how would, it's outside. <laughs> You'd mentioned negative numbers, correct? So let's follow through with that. Can this result in some negative numbers? Because we're going to take the absolute value of it, won't we? Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. right. So now as a class, can you guys think of numbers, negative numbers, that this green circle can result in? Negative four. It can result in negative 4. I'm going to put negative 4 here. Negative 3. Mm. Can it result in negative 3? Did you say that? That's a very good guess. Mm. If this resulted in negative 3, notice it's not or equal to. So oh. I'm going to get back to it. Oh, right? okay. So right. Negative, 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 not no, negative 2 either. It has to be but greater than 3. Four, let's, re let's ask. So if the four. x plus 2 oh, results, results in, in negative 4. I thought that right. negative yeah, was for x. Not for x to the very, very, very good. Yeah. I'm trying to get away from x oh, because what in, what's in here, yes, good, negative five. <laughs> good, negative good. Six, what's in here will change for every problem. I seriously have goosebumps because we're having those aha moments. Love those! <laughs> <laughs> no one's in here, it's okay, we can scream. Yeah, scream right yeah. now. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's like a cacophony. Evil. Okay, 